Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome video from Mathcation. This video is about adding fractions with different denominators. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when adding fractions with different denominators. Now, the first thing we need to remember is that we need to find the least common multiple of the denominators. Okay. The least common multiple just means we're looking for the number that is the smallest that goes into both denominators. So when we look at a fraction, the number on top is called the numerator, and the number on bottom is called the denominator. Now we're looking for the smallest number that both denominators go into. Typically, the easiest way to do that is to list out the multiples of the denominators until you get a number that both denominators go into. That will be the least common multiple. The second step is to multiply the fractions so that the new fractions will have the same number in the denominator. You want that number in the denominator to be equal to the least common multiple. So you need both denominators to be exactly the same. Once the denominators are the same, then the last step is to just go ahead and add them. Now remember, when you add them, you add the numerators and you keep the denominator the same. And then finally, you can reduce if you're able to. Now you're not always able to reduce, but sometimes you are. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other helpful math videos. All right, so let's get to work and get to adding some fractions with unlike denominators. So this first problem gives us 2 fifths plus 1 half. Now, in order to add these, we have to have the same denominator. So we have to change the denominators in both fractions into the least common multiple in which they both share. Now, typically the easiest way to do this is to just take the denominator and list the multiples of those two denominators until we get a number that matches. So if I want to start with the 5, I'm going to list the 5 out. And then I need to list the multiples of 5. So I'll list maybe 4 or 5. So we got the first multiple of 5 is 5. And then 5 times 2 is 10. And then 5 times 3 is 15. And then 20. So I'll go 4. Okay. And then we have to do the same thing for the number 2 because that's our other denominator here. So we have 2 and then 4 and then 6 and then 8 and then 10. I can stop at 10 because I realize that now we have our least common multiple here, 10. So it's the number that matches. So we have to change both of the denominators into the number 10. What we're going to do is use multiplication to turn these fractions into equivalent fractions that have the number 10 in the denominator. In order to change this 5 into a 10, I'm going to multiply this fraction by 2 because 5 times 2 is 10. That will give us a new fraction of 4 over 10 on this side. And then for the second fraction, 1 half, I have to change the denominator into 10 as well. So we're going to do 2 times 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm going to write our new fraction, which is going to be 1 times 5 here, which is 5, and then 2 times 5 in the denominator, which is 10. So now that the denominators are equal, we know that we can add the numerator, so we're going to add 4 plus 5, and we're going to keep the denominator the same. We're going to keep it a 10. And then when you simplify this, 4 plus 5 is 9, and then the denominator stays the same with 10. So our final answer to this problem is going to be 9 tenths. So 2 fifths plus 1 half actually comes out to 9 tenths. Moving on to number 2, okay, number 2 gives us 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. So again, our denominators have to match, so we have to change the denominators to get to the least common multiple. I'm going to go ahead and list out multiples of both denominators. So our first denominator is here. So I'm going to say 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So I'll go out to 20. And then I'm going to list multiples of 3. So this time we have 3, 6, 9, 12, and then 15. But I don't actually need 15 because I realize that we have our least common multiple here of 12. Now I just need to change these fractions into equivalent fractions that have a denominator of 12. So 1 fourth, this needs to be multiplied times 3 because I need 4 times 3, I need that to be a 12. So we got 3 times 1 on top, well that's 3, and then 3 times 4 on bottom, well that's 12, and that's being added to 
two thirds I have to change into a 12 in the denominator. So that would be three times four. So I'm gonna multiply this fraction times four. So two times four is eight. And then three times four is 12. So now we have three twelfths plus eight twelfths. And we have denominators of the least common multiple of 12. And because of the same, we can add them now. So I'm gonna add the numerators, three plus eight. And then I'm gonna keep the denominator the same, which is 12. And then we just add the numerators, three plus eight, that's 11. And then keep the denominator of 12. So our final solution is 11 twelfths. So 1 fourth plus 2 thirds is equal to 11 twelfths. The final practice problem that I'm going to show you for adding fractions with different denominators is 3 6 plus 1 fifth. We realize that our denominators are not equal, so I'm going to go ahead and change them into the least common multiple between 6 and 5. So let's go ahead and write out our multiples of 6 and 5. So we're going to start with 6. So 6 is 6. 12, 18, we're gonna say 24, 30, five is five, 10, 15, 20, okay, we're not there yet, 25, and 30. So I realize that 30 is a multiple of six and five, so I know that's gonna be our least common multiple. That means I have to change this six into a 30 and this five into a 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this first fraction, three, six times five, because I know that six times five is 30. So I'm gonna get 15 over 30. And then I have to multiply one fifth times six because five times six is 30. So one times six is six, and then five times six is 30. And doing that, that gives us the same number in the denominator. So now I know that I can add 15 plus six. I can add the numerators together, 15 plus six. And you keep the denominator the same, which is 30. So it's gonna stay 30. And we do 15 plus six, well that is 21. And then our denominator stays the same, so it's gonna stay 30. So our final solution for three six plus one fifth gives us 21 over 30. And remember, you always wanna to check to see if you can reduce. In this case, 21 and 30 does reduce by three. So three goes into 21 and three goes into 30. So you can divide the numerator and the denominator by three. 21 divided by three is seven, and then 30 divided by three is 10. So our final solution will be seven tenths after reducing. And if you wanna do some more practice problems on adding fractions with unlike denominators, go ahead and click this link in the video, and you'll be taken to some quick practice problems that grade themselves and tell you how you did. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.